started asking myself, what are we doing as Africans to tell our own story? That's where it really got me into sneaker business. What is that one footwear brand, you know, that, can, that is from Africa that can be benchmarked? I couldn't find any. And then the word Batu means shoe in South African townships. Theo is a guy from the hood. You know, it's a, it's a black kid from an ordinary background. Basically, it, it inspires a lot of people to find like a person who creates his own shoe brand. You know, like, oh, like I'm, I'm inspired. 2009, I left home. My dad sold his car for me to get into varsity just for the first semester, not even the whole year. I was already at the disadvantage because my tuition was not fully paid. I mean, getting textbook was a hassle. I remember doing my uh, second year in accounting. That's where the entrepreneurial bug beat me. I used to sell perfumes door to door. Often people ask me, why cosmetics? But a lot of people really supported our business because we were basically um, fulfilling that gap in the market. Because we come from a culture in the townships where people like dressing up and looking good. But one thing that I believe in, my mantra in life, doesn't have to be in business. It's about capitalizing small opportunities. If I messed up that opportunity to be in vast City, I don't think I would have been here today. I think the most important thing is basically just starting and defining your hustle. I see a lot of people wearing parts of you know, Yo, and to see them wearing it, yo, a proud South African sneaker from the hood, LX and Gas, the black owned sneaker. It gives hope to that child you know, sitting at the corner. Even if I don't come up with something, I can push myself you know, to get somewhere one day.